Hi everyone, Tori here with a album share um, or album walkthrough. Um, if you've watched my last two videos, you'll know that I've been working on a album for my puppy, Bernie. And today I wanted to walk you through the whole entire process. So I'll link up the other two videos down below. If you want to see like how I did it or see the process video, you can check that out and the link will be below in the description box. Otherwise, um, without further ado, here it is. I use this awesome album. It's a 4x4 album that comes from the 7 Paper Baxter collection. And it's got this really cute dog on it. I decided to use the alpha on the outside to write his name and I love the way that that look it looks it just fills in that white spot there oh I'm so excited about this guys I'm so excited that I can share it with you um, so the album is white but I thought it would be really cute to add like paw prints like as if a dog is walking through it so I use the stamp and you'll see the paw prints there as well as on the back of the album so it's sort of like he's walking across the album. And then I also added some paw prints to the album so that it would look like he also stepped on some of the pages. And I'm really happy with the way that that turned out. I think it's super cute. So I placed my favorite photo right up at the front and I'm really happy I did because I just, I love this photo of Bernie. He's so cute. He's only four and a half months old right now. And I'm really excited that I was able to add that. Um, I wanted to add some journaling in the album but I didn't really save that myself that much space, so I just used some tags that I had. So I used this one, I used my typewriter to type it up. Look, there's the paw prints again. And I just talked about this photo and what a sweet dog he is. On the back I grabbed another photo of him, but just his neck and his collar because I thought that was a really cute shot. And then I used some cork that I had stamped on, which I do have a DIY process video for that. If you want to see how to stamp on cork or how to use cork or make cork embellishments, so I'll link that up below too. Um, just some enamel dots. I love the 4x4 cards that come in here, and some of them I just like punched a hole into them and stuck them right into the album. This one I liked it just the way it was. I just added a little phrase to go that says I love you. The back was white, so I just covered it with some paper, added one of those vellum hearts and a cork arrow that I had in my stash. Um, I love this photo, guys. This is so cute. Let me just hold this up. This is Bernie and I. This is my best friend right now. This is so cute. And I wanted to keep this card pretty simple, so I just added the wood veneer and a little gold heart um, from Studio Calico. And then on the back, I put Bernie and me with the ampersand on this like puppy sticker, another footprint, and some black hearts. And it just fits right in there like that. I wanted to make some shaker pockets in this um, album, and I'm so glad I did. I think they're one of my favorite parts. So I have these two other selfies with Bernie, although this one he managed to get out of the shot, but I like the photo. And so I stuck those in there, and then I used my um, We Are Memory Keepers Fuse tool and um, made a couple shaker pockets. So there's some sequins and gold glitter in there. Love the way that turned out. And then on the back, just two more photos, and then I used some more of those cork embellishments I made and glued those on the outside, which you can't really see them on the front side, and I think it's because of the glitter. And even though you can see it a little bit, it doesn't bother me. So I like that. Um... Sometimes I decided to just go with a blank page just to give your eyes somewhere to rest because I know it is really busy. And I mostly use things from the Baxter collection from Seven Paper, but I also added some things from my stash, like those gold hearts. You'll see those all throughout the album. This label tag sticker and the cork is also from my stash, as well as some of these transparency cards. So these are Project Life transparency cards. They were 4x6 and I just cut them down. And then punched a couple holes, added a wood veneer, and there you got transparent card. This is adorable, which it truly is. A photo of my dad with little tiny baby Bernie. And then I stuck another tag in the back here with some more journaling. And the back has, actually has journaling too, so um, that way you can read a little bit about Bernie. And why did we pick his name and um, a little bit more about where we got him from. Oh, I love this photo. He's such a cutie. Um, here I 
back two three by four cards together, like glued them together. Added some journaling, a wood veneer, vellum heart, and an enamel dot. And then on the back, I just added a stamp. I love this paper. I think it's so pretty. I just wanted to keep it pretty simple. And then if you're wondering, well, you're probably not, but with the um, puppy feet prints, I decided to have them all traveling in the same direction so that it looks like he's walking across the pages. Again, another simple page, but I love that, those vellum hearts. And then I have these two photos of my mom and I on a walk with Bernie, and I just love them the way they are. So I didn't add anything, but I think it's just a nice balance to the rest of the album. Oh, here he is sleeping on the couch. It says the dog days of summer, and I use those puffy hearts. And then here I made another shaker pocket. So there was this 4x4 four four triangle card. It says must love dogs, and it's got gold on it. And um, on the back, I added some journaling, and then using my We Are Memory Keepers Fuse tool again, I fused along there, added some sequins and a vellum heart, and made like a little shaker pocket. And I love that it has that see-through element too. Okay, guys, this is my favorite photo of them all. This is my dad and Bernie sleeping on the couch together. He's so little, he's just laying on my dad's belly. <laughs> That's so cute. On the back, I just have another one of those 4x4 four four cards, and then I cut out some of the dogs from the 12x12 12 12 paper and glued them there and make a little combination. And then here's some photos of Bernie again, my mom holding him when he, we first got him. I think this photo was taken the first day we got him. And then that paper comes from a 12x12 12 12 paper that had like little polka dots, but also dog heads on it. I added a sticker that says lovable. In the back, a couple photos of Bernie with my brother Josh. Some more stamping, see the footprints again. And then I added some quotes too. So sometimes there's journaling and then sometimes there's quotes like, whoever said that diamonds are a girl's best friend never owned a dog. Aww, love dogs. Oh, and this is fun. I got this idea from Tracy XO over at Studio Calico. She is one of those four by four pockets and just made it a complete see-through thing. So you can see the photo underneath. So wood veneer, a couple stickers, vellum heart, and some sequins. I love that. I just think it's such a cute element. Another photo of Bernie sitting on the doorstep. Oh, he looks so cute here. And it reminded me of um, the movie Up and Squirrel. So I stuck that there. Um, another quote, some things fill your heart without even trying. Another acetate transparent card, you are my happy. Look at his nose, isn't that cute? Just left it simple, but the transparent card just adds a little bit to it. A selfie of me and Bernie, I love this photo. And then I had this card, this was by from the 12 by 12 cut apart sheet and it says dogs are a girl's best friend. I added some faux stitching, cause I can't actually stitch, and one of those gold hearts. Oh, isn't he adorable? And then this heart was really cute. It was one of the, just add, it was in the kit. So I just left the front blank, added the um, chipboard heart, and then on the back I added another quote and a bunch of um, puppy paw prints. So it says, dog sleep paw prints on our hearts. And I thought that was cute because it's a heart and there's paw prints all over it. A couple more photos of him, and in this one he's playing with Josh. And this is his like go-to look. I love it with his mouth open and his tongue out. It's so cute. On the back, I used another one of the cut aparts from the 12 by 12 sheet, and then I cut it into four, added it to each of those blocks. And then from a different paper, I cut out the dogs and stuck them on there like that. This one doesn't have any photos, but I like it. It's just something different. This was another one of those four by four um, pieces. It's a circle and it said all bark. So I added faux stitching around the outside, wood veneer, a stamp, and then said, and no bite. So then it's like all bark and no bite, which, this photo is so cute. 100% um, dog person, yep. I added a little ribbon on the top of there just because I thought, I don't like tags without ribbons. And the other tags with journaling have ribbon on them, so I thought that would be a cute idea. And then if I decide to add more journaling, I could put it on the back of here. I don't think I will, but if I do, I could. And um, if you're wondering, I used a torch or a, what do you call them? What is this called? a uh, lighter to just um, do the edges of this so they won't unravel. 
cute photo of Bernie. And then I love this card. It says I love you and it's got a little gold bow. Even though he's a boy, I, I want to use pink because it's mostly for me. And then I added all these pink enamel dots in different sizes and I like the way that looks. Cute photo of him. And then another one of the journaling tags. And on this one I just talked a little bit about how he's a Bernie's Mountain Dog and a Border Collie mix. And I talked about what are the characteristics of those animals and how he fits those perfectly. On the back, just some more stamping and a couple of the word phrases. Here's another one of him in the car. And I used that Who Let the Dogs Out, which I thought was cute. And then these two 3x4 cards, I stuck them together too. I added this metal yippee from Freckled Fawn and a stamp. And then on the back I left it blank. I might add journaling, but I think I like it blank. Just a little resting place. And then I used my fuse tool again, cut this photo in half, diagonally. Little paper, little photo, and then on the back I used the photo twice. Um, I'm not 100% happy with this one, but I'm going to leave it. I think it's a cute photo. And then a couple more 3x4 cards. This one I left blank. It says I love you and it has gold foiling. And then on the back it says best friend and it's got some more gold foiling and I put a photo of Bernie. And then here is another one of the papers from the 12 by 12 cut apart that I just cut into four, stuck there. And then another photo of him and then I just used the back of this paper, added a bunch of puffy stickers and a bunch of the words. And all the words I chose are like noises, grr, arf, yap, yip, wolf, things like that, which I thought would cute and they fit sort of with the photo he was making noise there. This card was actually a 4x6 so what I did was I cut it and then just stapled the bottom piece on top, added XOXO, a couple staples and a gold heart, one more photo selfie with Bernie, me and my dog, that's another one of the 4x4 cards that came in the kit. It was a tag but I didn't want it to be a tag so I just covered it with a button added a stamp and then on the back of that I just added some paper just because I didn't want it to just be white at the back and I love that and then finished it off with the stamping so that's the album I really love it I think it's super cute and I'm really happy with the way it worked out and I honestly think I'm gonna have to buy a couple more of these puppy albums because I know that as Bernie gets bigger I'm gonna want to make some more he's only four and a half months old and I've already filled one so I think there will be like a whole group of them and I think it would be so cute on the shelf to have like four different Bernie albums. Aww. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Go check out the other videos if you haven't seen them. Also check out my DIY cork embellishment video. And um, I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!